Hi everybody, welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we have some NFL action for this week, and it's a full slate of games. We're going to take a look at four of them, so let's get started. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to this VIP club section, which has all the tools here, as you see, to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's get started here. So we're going to look here at uh, this here, Buffalo, New York. So we're going to take a look at all the charts and everything that you need to, to know as far as helping you make your picks. So you can see here that Buffalo is burning hot at the moment. They are 4-0 over their last four. New York is average. They're coming off of a loss, but they are 4-2 over their last six. You can see the odds for Buffalo 1.14 to 5.6, which translates to a line here of minus 12.5. And you can see the over-under number is at 46.5. If you look at the over-under, actually, you see that um, Buffalo has been involved in under the line in their last five, and New York in two out of their last three. If you look at the score prediction, Buffalo 28, New York Jets 15, with confidence in prediction of about 48%. And you can see here, up here, 93% chance for Buffalo to win, only 7% chance for the Jets. Let's take a look at some of the other things. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see Buffalo straight line across here, staying at plus 29. New York right behind them at plus 27. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you see the stability factor. You can see here that the straight line going upward, upward trend for Buffalo at plus 5. And the Jets are at minus 1. They have not been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end here, I like the Bills on the road in a game going over the line, but would not be surprised to see the Jets cover. I mean, that is a big line of 12.5. So I think Buffalo to win, Jets to cover. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other games here. Again, it's a full slate of games, a few teams on the bye week as usual. And we're going to take a look at four of these games. Indianapolis, New England. Um, the next one we want to look at here is... Go down through Minnesota, Washington. That could be a good game, but we're not going to really focus on that one. Okay, here we go. Chargers and the Falcons. We are going to look at this one. Okay. So you look at this one here. The Chargers come in average down there, coming off of a loss, and they're three and one over their last four. Well, the Falcons are average up there coming off of a win, and they are 2-2 two and two over their last four. You see the line here. The Chargers are road favorites by 3.5 points with an over-under 49.5. And you see the odds are 1.59 to 2.352. If you look at the over-under, you see that the Chargers have been over in four out of their last five games. And uh, Atlanta's been over in their last two, and overall three and three over their last five games as far as the over-under goes. Uh, score predictor has a Chargers 30 to 29, confidence in prediction of 67%. And if you look here, it's, it looks like it's a very, very tight one here because uh, Falcons have a 51% chance of winning. So it's just barely better than a toss of a coin here. In the power ranks indicator, you can see Chargers on an upward trend from the end of last month, or actually the end of September. From one, they're all up to 26 now, and the Falcons have been up and down uh, all season with this, and they're now at plus 15. If you look at the stability factor, um, you see that the Falcons at plus four, the Chargers at plus two. So both teams are pretty consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the change in the line. Okay, here's the, the line for the Chargers. You can see it started at 1.621 and it moved to 1.51 and it's been steady then at 1.59. So you can see here that the Chargers are nice favorites in this one. Not huge favorites, but they are nice favorites. And in the end, I do like the road team to win this one. I like the Chargers on the road to win, and I like this one to go over the line. Okay, so Los Angeles and Tampa Bay. In this one here, the Rams are road underdogs despite being... Um, Average down compared to dead for Tampa Bay. You can see that the Rams have lost three out of their last four, but they are three three over the last six. Compared to Tampa Bay, losers of their last three, and they are just one and five over their last six. 
see the over under you can see the rams are over in their last game but under in four out of their last five tampa bay under in three out of their last four good an indication that this game might go under the line if you look at the line it is at 42.5 and tampa bay is a 2.5 point home favorite if you look at the score prediction here, you can see Tampa Bay 27-25 with 65% level of confidence in the prediction. Let's take a look at the power ranks indicator. You can see this chart here. Tampa Bay was at plus 30. They dropped to plus 8, and now they are up to uh, plus 19. Tampa Bay, on the other hand, was at plus 18, and they have dipped over the last few weeks, and they are down to plus 8. The stability factor, you can see on this chart here that the Rams are at plus two compared to Tampa Bay plus one. So I'm moderately stable for these two teams, but they are not as consistent as they could be with regard to their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the money line. The Tampa Bay money line, it opened at 1.752. You can see it moved quite a bit to 1.549. Then it has leveled off at 1.671. So in the end, I do like Tampa Bay to break their skid. They have to win sometime. I just think they're going to get out of it this week I, mean, I like them to win but i like this game to be lower scoring so under the line okay so we are, now we want to look at tennessee and kansas city this one here is interesting because uh tennessee is burning hot winners of their last five while kansas city is average up they are four and two over their last six but a huge favorite for kansas city a little bit of a surprising line for it to be this big but anyway it's a 12 and a half point line for kansas city Odds of 1.14 to 5.6. The over-under is at 45.5. Okay, so the score prediction, though, has it a lot tighter. 26-25 in favor of Kansas City. And you can see 71.8% confidence. Let's look at this chart here, the power ranks indicator chart. You can see Tennessee up and down, up and down, up and down. But generally speaking, going upward, they're at plus 24. Kansas City was at 28 on October 16th, and they have dropped to plus 22. Let's take a look at the movement in the line. Well, look at this. Open at 1.21 and has remained at 1.21. There has been no movement at all in the line. Um, it's remaining a huge favorite for the Chiefs in this one. So I do like the Chiefs to win at home in a game over the line, but I like the Titans to cover. And there's one more game that we're not looking at. So there you have it. Those are all the games for this week. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.